Hi, I'm Naridan Sarin and in this video I'm gonna talk about most used nodes in Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video we did talk about some nodes, variables and how we can use it in general, in basic way. In this video I'm gonna talk about some most used node that you always use. First of all, you know that for teaching somebody I don't use search for that okay in this case I try my best to not search for any nodes and show you where they are but at the end I will show you the fast way to search something so in here you remember we just create a function we bring some stuff stuff out and we had a delay so you know about print a string delay and creating function we create function and i did explain it in detail so now i want to show show you some important notes that you should know about first of all if you right click in here you can go down to utility and after that to operators okay in here just expand it and you can see that you have add divide equal greater greater equal less less equal multiply not equal and subtract okay and you can have it in your blueprints easy and you can see the input pin and output pin is grayed out okay because we didn't give it any variable so it it doesn't know uh, if it should add to integer value value or to float value it, it doesn't know that so for example for adding two integer together we can add a variable in here of type of integer i want to call this num1 and we can just and create another one of num2 both are integer okay and if we drag and drop it and get the value of this number and we connect this pin to input pin of this add all of the pins on this add node will be green so it means um, it is integer if you hover over it it will show you that it is an integer okay so with connecting the variable to this node you tell this node that we want to add two integer together so it will give us an integer in return so let's just add this num2 to your to our blueprint again and get the number of that and put it here and connect it to the another pin the, another input pin of this add and what this add will give us is the add of this to value right so if you click on it first of all you should compile and now we can change the value in here like five for num1 and two for num2 and in return it should give us seven right so let's just print this return value to our screen how we can do that so one way is to create a print a string node and after you connect this to this in a string it will automatically convert the integer value to a string and give it to the print a screen a string and that way it will it can show the number that we have at the output of this add node to show us okay so for this print a string to show us that number we should uh, link this execution pin of this event begin play to the execution pin of this print a string right and before that let's just delete everything in here what we need is just this event begin play and let's just bring this all up and now let's just link this event begin play to print a, str a string so it it should show us seven okay so let's just compile and save and go to our game run and you can see it show us seven in here of course you can see it in output log as well so if you don't have this output log go to window and check this output log and you can see it show us seven in here as you remember in last video i did show you how you can have just your logs not 
whole Unreal Engine logs. So Control C, select this message in here, Control C to copy it and paste it here, and it will just show us the message that we wrote. So like plus, we have minus, we have subscribe, you did see it. Let's just stop our game. And if we right click again, if we go to utility in here, and in operators in here you can see we have divide equal and we did talk about it and they all most likely like this add pin okay so for example this divide you can see it that this is exactly like this add pin okay so another thing about these nodes is this add button so if you add another pins to input of these nodes it will add all of this input together and give it at the output for us and it will convert it to a string in here and it will show it again so that's what this add pin is another way to find all of these operators is by right click and search okay so one way is to search add and you can see that you can have it like this but the better way to do it is searching for plus in here and you can see i put plus and it will give us add okay so if you watch my video about functions you know what this plus means how they done that it's just a keyword to search okay so let me show you another one so if you want to check if uh, a, var a variable is greater than another variable you can search for this gr uh, greater sign and it will give you greater or greater equal so let's just add this and again let's just delete this event tick we did talk about it in last video so and let's just again add these two number here fast okay so we have this two number if we connect it to input pin of these nodes if the number one is greater than number two this boolean output yeah and you can see that if you hover over it it says the return value is boolean okay and you can use this boolean variable in some cases that i will show you how you can check for booleans so let us check some other one right click again go to utility and by now i think you know what these operators are it's just for adding subscribing dividing less not equal equal let's just find equal in here and again if you right click and search for equal sign and you can see i just searched for equal sign it give us this equal nodes so if two, this two pin is equal together it give us true but if it's not it give us false okay so let's just delete that in in here because number one is greater than number two so this great notes give us true but if the number one is less than number two it give us false and <laughs> I, I know you know everything about it again if you want to show this uh, the state of this return value of type of boolean in is in a print string you can just connect it to this in a string pin of our print screen and it will automatically convert this boolean to a string and it will show it to us okay so let's just compile and run our game and you can see it says true and in, in here you can see it as well in output log i think this is enough for this video you get the idea of what all of this node is it's just all about operators and and i i know you know all about it but i wanted to show you some way to um, use them and how you can find them fast this was the part one of the most used nodes in Unreal engine 5 in the next video i will show you a lot cooler and more than these nodes most used nodes that even used more than these nodes and they are a little bit complex than this because it's not complex but it's a little bit complex than this 
and I will I want to show you in detail what they are so I don't want to add it to this video because it takes too much time to do that so I wrap up this video it's my honor to have you at the end of this video please if you want to help me hit that like button subscribe to my channel why not thank you very much for watching bye